height balanced binary tree. So, what is a height balanced binary tree? In computer science, an height balanced binary tree can also be called as AVL tree is a self balancing binary search tree. It was the first such data structure to be invented. In an AVL tree, the heights of the two child subtrees of any node differ by at most one. That means there is a particular node, it is having one left subtree and another right subtree. The left subtree height and the right subtree height can be equal or can differ by one only. And if any time they differ by more than one, rebalancing is done to restore this property and that is the main feature of height balance tree or AVL tree. So, balance factor also in short it can be called as BF the left subtree height minus right subtree height. So, you can also consider that right subtree height minus left subtree height, but it is our common practice to consider that left subtree height minus right subtree height. So, if this balance factor is equal to 0 that means the left subtree height and the right subtree height are same. And if it is true for all nodes in the tree and that will indicate that this tree is height balanced. Otherwise, if the left subtree height and right subtree height if the difference is 1 or minus 1 that means plus 1 or minus 1 and if it is true for all nodes of the binary search tree and height balanced binary search tree then you can say that this AVL tree is height balanced. So, in our prologue program, we shall write one, we shall write one uh, clause that is AVL slash 1. So, AVL slash 1 means the name will be AVL and it takes only one argument. So, in our prologue program, we shall have to develop a procedure that is AVL slash 1 to check whether a given, given AVL tree is valid or not. That means, if for an example, if this input is given to this to this respective procedure AVL, then output will be true, but if I give this one, then the output will be false, the output will be no in that case. Now, what is this, why it is true and why it is no? If you consider this one, this is a high balanced AVL tree, because here the balance factor will be, here the balance factor will be 0 minus 0, so 0 here it will be 0 minus 1 that is minus 1, 0 minus 0 that is 0 and here it will be 1 minus 2 that is minus 1. So, the balance factors are ranging from minus 1 and 0 and within plus 1. So, that is why it is height balanced. So, now this tree has been represented in this way. There is a root node and there is a left child. So, there is a root node and the left child has been written as nil 10 nil and the right subtree has been written as here this left subtree is nil. So, that is why nil is there and the right subtree will be nil 40 nil. So, that is why it has been written in this way. So, this tree has been expressed in this form and this procedure AVL will give us the answer true. But here if you can find if you consider this very node it is having the left subtree height is equal to 0 and right subtree height is equal to 2. So, 0 minus 2 it is minus 2 and obviously it proves that it is not a height balanced binary search tree. So, that tree has been represented here. So, 20 is here. So, 20 is here. 10 is the left child. So, nil 10 nil and here we are having this 30. So, 30 is here. It is having no left subtree. So, nil is here. It is having this right subtree with this 40 as the root of this right subtree. So, 40 is there. It is having no left subtree. So, it is nil and 50 has got no left subtree and no right subtree. So, nil 50 nil. So, in this way the respective tree has been expressed and passed as an argument. So, let us go for one uh, demonstration where we shall write the respective prolog program, we shall run it and we shall show that how the outputs are coming. So, here is the demonstration for you. In this program, we shall check whether a given AVL tree is valid or not. If you look at this respective diagram, here in the first case, we are finding this AVL tree as a valid one. But in the second case, the AVL tree is not valid. So, if I want to represent this AVL tree in a structure form, then it is the required structure for the AVL tree. 
so 10 is the leaf node so nil 10 nil 20 is having 10 as a left child so 20 is having 10 as a left child and it is having a right subtree with the 30 as its right child so that's why it is it will be our right subtree with the 30 as the right child so in this way the structure has got formed and here we are having the same tree but only 40 is having one right child so here in this case 40 we are having nil at the right child place but here it will be having nil 50 nil accordingly we know that an avial tree will be a valid avial tree if all nodes are having the balance factor either equal to 0 or minus 1 or plus 1 but if any one of the nodes is having a balance factor which is plus 2 or minus 2 that means that tree is not a valid avial tree balance factor means the left subtree height minus right subtree height so here in case of 10 the left subtree height and right subtree height both are 0 because it is a leaf node so that's why its balance factor is 0 and here in this case its left subtree balance factor is 1 right subtree balance factor is 2 so that's why we are going for 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 so that is it is also having minus 1 it is also having 0 so that is this is a valid avial tree structure but in this case if you consider 30 it left subtree is not formed but it right subtree has got this level and depth so that's why the balance factor of 30 will be 0 minus 2 and that is minus 2 so that's why it is not a valid structure of one avial tree so here are the three representations and here is the respective code so let me execute my program at first to check whether my program is giving the correct answers or not so here we have written this avial tree so here i am passing this tree as input argument to the clause to the predicate avial so avial and this is the tree structure that means this one the same tree structure i have written here so let me let me check what is the output my query is given here it is giving us as true as output so now if we execute this query then i am expecting you should get you should give us no so it is giving us no that means it is not a valid avial tree structure so how the program code is executing let me explain that one so avial tree will be valid if avial tree and height so we are having this two arguments so this predicate has got one argument here and another predicate of avial is having two arguments so avial and height so it will be coming to this so in case of avial tree if the tree itself is nil then the height will be zero in case of avial tree if this is a tree structure and height is h then at first we shall have to find out the height of the left subtree into hl and height of the right subtree into hr so we were calling this avial tree clause recursively so we know that either the balance factor will be 0 means HL is HR or balance factor is minus 1 or plus 1 that means HL is HR plus 1 or HL is HR minus 1. So when these conditions either one of these conditions will be true then this is uh, this is true this particular part this line will be true in that case and then I shall go for max 1 HL HR H. So here is the code for max 1 so if u is greater than v then m is equal to u plus 1 else m is equal to v plus 1 so whatever the maximum in between u and v we shall put m with maximum value plus 1 in case of u and v are equal in that case we will be coming to this line and then m is equal to v plus 1 in this way the m will get instantiated so if i execute this code i am getting that this uh, program is um, is very much eligible to check whether the avial tree given as input argument is valid or not valid i think you are getting this logic thanks for watching this video